Welcome to ClockClass.com. Today we're going to be talking about the recoil escapement. And as you can see on your screen, I have a diagram showing the anchor, the saddle, the pallets entrance and exit pallets, and the escape wheel. Note the direction of rotation. So we're going to be talking a little bit about drops and locks. There's the lock, and then as the escapement runs, it recoils a slight bit. And the recoil has to do with the backing up of the escape wheel. You can see due to this angle, when the escape wheel tooth hits here, and then the pallets rock forward, that it will push the escape wheel backwards. Okay, This will load up the escapement, give it a little bit of power. And now here, motion of the pallets, Again, we've got lock, recoil, and this, this is evident as run or overswing of the pendulum. So following the tick sound or the tock sound, you will see the pendulum move just a little bit farther. It's important to have that in a good running escapement. If you don't have it, your escapement's about to die. <clears throat> There's not enough energy to push it. And again, we'll look at this in, in a real-life escapement. I just wanted you to give an get an idea here. Uh, here, the motion of the pallets have reverse direction, and this, these areas now are doing a different function. You're receiving impulse to the system. What was recoil is now impulse, and what was lock is now lift. So it gives the escapement, the pendulum, a kick here at the impulse phase and then gives a lift which keeps the system going. And that's how it works.